At the University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG, has begun mobilizing its members to actively participate in the impending nationwide strike declared by organized labor. The association has reaffirmed its commitment to fight to the fight against illegal mining, which continues to devastate the country's water bodies and environment. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology KNUST chapter of UTAG has expressed readiness to join any action that pressures the government to implement measures to stop illegal mining. Hafiz Tijani, Channel One News' Ashanti Regional Correspondent, reports. UTAG recently reiterated its opposition to illegal mining aligning with a countdown to the strike by organized labor. The president of the KNUST chapter of UTAG, Professor Eric Abavari, emphasized the association's determination to fully support the action aimed at compelling the government to address the meanings of illegal mining. I don't know whether or not um, organized labor action we're going to take part. Yes, UTAG is going to be fully involved and like you tag our 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 process or respect to our constitution we have to consult our members and get their opinion of which i'm confident they will accept and join the organized labor come 10th of october professor abavari urged speaker of parliament alban bagbin to show the same resolve in addressing illegal mining as he did in opposing LGBTQ plus activities. Parliament of Ghana, headed by Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Kingsford Agban Babin. We all know in this country, when the issue of LGBT came, we all saw how vociferous that man was in the fight against the LGBT. What has he done? For the galaxy, he has gone mute, deaf, and dumb. If indeed he's committed to galamse, you should champion the same course just like he did for LGBT. He also criticized the judiciary for not expediting the prosecution of individuals arrested for illegal mining related offenses. Come to uh, the judiciary. I also feel sad for the Chief Justice because look at how long it takes for them to adjudicate a case. And then when they, uh, uh, these minors are brought before the court, they say something they call the, the, the wheels of justice dry slowly. And so by the time it gets to the other end, they get away with it. Since we started with this fight, I don't know whether they be up to about 100 or 200. But how many? They count millions. Experts want political figures to focus on tackling the illegal mining minis rather than thinking about how to make political gains. Hafiz Tijani, Channel 1 News, Kumase, Ashanti Region.